Hey guys, what's up? It's Yasin, and today I'm here with the best Android apps for the month of November. The theme today is must-have apps for new Android users, but I'm sure everyone will find these apps useful. So sit back, relax, and let's get into some apps. The first app that a new Android user should download probably is a file manager, and this one is called exactly that. This one is made by ASUS and it is the one that comes with the ASUS Zenfone lineup. The reason I like this one and recommend it is because it has a clean user interface and a categorical layout of for everything. When you open up the app right away it shows the main categories that all the files are put into in your phone. This makes it easy to find a file. So if you're looking for something you downloaded then you go to the download section or if you're looking for a specific picture you can go into the image category. File Manager does not only help you manage your local files, but you can also set up cloud storage. This lets you easily access any files you have in the cloud and also transfer files to and from the cloud. On the bottom it has two useful features, one being the storage analysis that does exactly that. It analyzes your storage and it also lets you manage the files all from within the app. You can easily go into whatever category you think is taking up too much space and delete the files based on size. And the last awesome feature is the hidden cabinet. This is pretty much a place to store all your files on the phone that you don't want anyone to see. And it could be encrypted by a pin or your fingerprint. Up next we have an app that will probably be obsolete in the next few years. As phones get better specs and more RAM, apps like Advanced Taskular will not be needed. But today I still use it on all my phones because it gives me a little better RAM management than most phone manufacturers can do. So Advanced Task Killer will auto-kill any apps that are running in the background periodically so they are not using up any RAM or battery. The app shows you the amount of RAM that is being used up by each app listed and you can manually select each app to kill it in order to boost the phone's performance. But where this app starts to shine is the fact that you can set up rules like kill frequency, ignore lists, and screen off kill so you can set it up once and forget it. I only have WhatsApp in my ignore list as I found it to be the only app that has issues with Advanced Task Killer. I do turn on regular kill frequency for every hour and I have my phone kill all the apps when I turn off the display except for my ignore list and this ensures that unnecessary apps are not using any battery in my phone while it's in my pocket. Staying with must have apps for new Android users, this one is a no brainer. What Amper does is let you know how much current is flowing to your phone when it's being charged. You plug in your phone, run the app, and it shows you how many milliamps the phone is receiving. This is extremely helpful when you are trying to determine which portable battery to get or which cable and adapter to use. With phones getting Quick Charge 3.0 and Rapid Quick Charge through USB-C in the last couple of years, this app will show you if the aftermarket cable you bought actually does support your phone's Quick Charge technology. The UI is somewhat customizable. It has five different layouts to pick from, which all show the same information. And in the menu section, you have basic settings such as units of temperature choice, notification toggle, and a dark theme for your late night viewing. Great little app to make sure you always get the fastest charge with the right cable. Since you are new to Android and most Android phones have a beautiful quad HD display, I have just the right app for you when it comes to wallpaper. Wallracks is one of the best wallpaper apps and all the wallpapers are in high definition. It also has a very clean and simple interface that is very inviting. The wallpapers are updated on a weekly basis and put into different categories. You can view them by individual categories or view them all at once. Make sure you visit the newly added section so you don't miss out any of the new ones. Applying a wallpaper is very easy. You just select the one you like, then hit the plus sign on the bottom right and use the quick apply from the pop-up menu. You can also try the crop and apply if you want to make minor tweaks. Overall, this app has a great selection of wallpaper and a wide variety. And lastly, this app is a must-have for first-time Android users. It is Google Duo. Basically, this is Google's version of FaceTime from Apple since most Android phones don't have a native video chat app. I know there are many other apps out there for video chatting, and it seems like there's a new one popping up every other week. But this one's a little different. First, it's made by Google, so you know it has that beautiful material design, and it is widely supported by all phones regardless of manufacturer. And yes, that includes iPhones. The best part of this app is the ease of use. Setup literally takes seconds. 
All you need to do is input your number and give a few permissions to the app like the camera and the mic. Once this is done, then you are greeted with your face. Well, actually the camera. There is a video call button on the bottom. Hitting this button will give you a list of contacts that have the Duo app, followed by all your contacts with a little invite icon next to their name so you can send them an invite. There is a feature on this app called Knock Knock, which basically lets you see who's calling you before you pick up and also lets others see your face before they answer. This can be so much fun at times, but I'm glad Google gives you the option to turn this feature off. Well that was the top 5 must have apps for all those that are new to Android. I hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you have any family and friends that are new to Android, make sure you share this video with them. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up that lets me know all my hard work is appreciated and consider subscribing to my channel for more great quality content like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.